And because of that, they end up having to pay a, a significant penalties and fines. Pay attention, please. These are common tax mistakes that we do repeatedly. The obvious one to recap is the failure to pay the provisional tax and the failure to account and ask your client to pay deemed dividend taxes based on the two years ago, two years back profits. The other, of course, common errors that we see with the taxation is that people, accountants, auditors, or even the clients, they neglect to pay the corporation tax, they neglect to pay annual levies, Sometimes even they have a year where they do not pay the corporation tax, whilst in the coming years they do. And this is an omission and uh, an oversight from their accountants, I would believe, because they don't have internal control mechanisms within their firm for each client to know that, yes, this client has paid all their corporation tax throughout our engagement. They have paid all the annual levies throughout our engagement. They do not have anything due on the income tax office. This is evident. And because of that, they end up having to pay a, a significant penalties and fines, which sometimes reach the actual principal amount of the tax. Because I have, as I have mentioned earlier on today, not only you will get penalized by the 10% of the penalty, but you will also have on that round number on top of the 10%, have to pay 5% usually is the penalty fee and interest that applies on the current year. So if you are, uh, now we're talking about three types of penalties just for the corporation tax. Again, this is something that is not widely communicated enough amongst professionals and amongst audit and assurance firms with their clients, which is to make it a bit simpler. If you don't pay your corporation tax on time, you'll have three penalties, 10%, 5%, and the interest rate applicable to each year. And all these interest rates and penalties within a year of 10 years could reach the principal amount that you owe as tax. To close, since we've dived into the taxes and what is significant and what is not significant, the most heavy penalty out of all taxes in Cyprus, and I think it's, this is the norm in Europe, is a penalty on the VAT amount due, which is a flat rate of 10%. So if your accountants or if yourself have prepared your tax return, and you have calculated that the VAT payable is 3,000, and you did pay 3,000, and during an investigation, it wasn't 3,000, but it was 5,000, you're gonna have a 10% penalty on the VAT amount you have omitted to pay, plus penalties, plus fines. It's very important because 10% is 10%. If you have failed on this example to submit your tax return, you just made it, but you have failed to submit or pay the tax return. On the 3,000, you will instantly get hit by a 10% fine, and your VAT creditor will immediately become 3,300 plus penalties and fines until the point where you have picked up on it and you're going to settle the amount due.